So I just planted some broccoli seeds, carrot seeds, green onion seeds, pepper seeds, zucchini seeds, and watermelon seeds. So hopefully that will grow. Hey guys, what's up? Today is April 10th and I just want to give you guys a quick update on my garden. I'm saying this intro inside because it's really windy outside. Don't mind the hot mess that is always my hair. It will never cooperate with me. Okay. So this month I actually dropped my camera and so if it's a zoom in quality. It's not that great. I'm sorry, but I am not gonna go back to my GoPro, so I'm just gonna stick this one out. I mean I just got it and I didn't get warranty, but whatever, I am gonna deal with what I have and yeah. Let's get started because there's a lot to update on. And sorry if you hear the wind. Um, I can't control the weather. First and foremost, let me show you what happened to my ghetto greenhouse because it's been super windy today. Yeah, it just ripped, so I'm gonna have to make another one, which is fine. I don't mind. But I showed you guys that I planted some new seeds and one already started to bloom, like one seed. I'm pretty sure it's the uh, bell peppers i'll write it down here just to confirm that it is or not but it looks like this oh look and there's a little something right there i didn't even notice oh and a little something right there there. I'm so excited. So it's been a little more hotter these days so I do come out and water my plants twice a day just to make sure they're really hydrated. Um, then I have my kales growing right here beautifully. I just gave them a good rotation and so they're all facing the sun. These ones aren't doing as well but I don't have high hopes for them so if they grow they grow. If they don't it's okay. These ones right here though, they're growing pretty beautifully and healthy and they're all green and so that's really good. I have been eating my cilantro so much and no matter how much I cut it, it actually just continues to grow back which I'm really really happy about. I've also been trying to use some of my chives but I just, I'm not a chives person. I don't know what I'm supposed to put it in so I just started to put it in my pho and then I also have some extra cilantro back here that's growing beautifully again I water these um, a little more than multiple times a day just to make sure that they grow because this is seriously my pride and joy and then I also have my grandma's shisho leaves they are growing beautifully the inside of them are purple and so I think that's just how it is um, they are getting a little lighter in color, so I don't know if I have to put them in more in the shade or what, but hopefully when my grandma comes, she can deal with that. A really big update I really wanted to show you guys were my tomato plants because if you can see, there's one, two, three, four in the back, um, five, six, little tiny ones over here and so basically this whole row right here is all growing flowers let me rotate it to show you oh there's some more in the back um yeah so all these flowers are blooming and they're growing i have some up here oh that little one is growing and that one over there is growing and i have some up here and up here so better than last time I think last time I only got like five or six but this time for sure I'll be getting at least ten like at least I want to say even twelve um, so that's really cool I really appreciate my flowers because they're growing really straight and so I know that this is probably just like the pruning season that it has to go through um, so I'm just letting it do its thing right here and right here there's no changes in my avocado, but in my strawberry plant, I do rotate them and I did cut off some of the leaves here. And one of them, I'll show you, is turning red. 
<laughs> I'm so excited! Look how cute that is! And this was the one that was growing kind of funky, but whatever. And I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. About nine of them are growing in this pot, so that's awesome. For my onions, okay, so after I vlogged the last time, I actually ended up cutting it somewhat this short, a lot shorter than this actually. But they just grew back and it just looks exactly the same as last month. But I promise you, I cut it and they just grew back stronger than ever, I guess. But yeah, I'm literally going to give up on my lettuce. Um, yeah, it's just, I don't know how to maintain it and all these bugs, like they just irritate me so much. And so... Yeah, my kale is doing really good, a lot better in the shade, I feel like. This one has shown, oh, pull it out. This one has shown tremendous growth, as well as all the other ones. I have never grown kale, or really even eaten it that much, so I'm not sure how the progression is supposed to look like. I thought it would be a little bit faster than that, but maybe it's just the soil, the sunlight, and every factor into that too. But no complaints because I'm sure it'll taste really good. Um, my flowers in this pot, same thing. I did cut them down, but they do grow really quickly. So I just gave you guys an update a couple of days ago, but then I started to notice that some of the other plants were also growing too. So I just wanted to show you guys and I'm probably going to replant them most likely tomorrow because I don't have a lot of soil, but I will show you guys right now. This is my broccoli. This is my carrot. This is my pepper. No, I'm sorry. This is my broccoli seeds, my carrot seeds, my green onion seeds then my pepper, zucchini, and watermelon. And so the zucchini seeds are actually growing really quickly. Um, I haven't dug around these ones, but yeah, something's definitely starting to sprout there as well. And this one too. So I'm going to replant these today. Just these, actually I'll wait on these. So I'm gonna wait until these two grow and then I'm going to plant all of these. And I'm going to plant all of my broccoli seeds and my carrots. Hey guys, what's up? Today is April 15th and I just want to give you guys an update because I'm making some changes with the way I garden. So right now I'm doing it all in like pots um, as you can see. But the ones that I'm growing currently, the new ones that I talked to you about, the broccoli, the carrots, the I really wanted them to have a lot of space to grow and so I made a raised bed using just things that I have laying around in my house. This is like a maker's make like distillery shelving thing. I don't know why we have this but anyways um, I bought a raised bed organic raised bed soil and they're having a sale right now at Home Depot so I just went and bought two bags but I definitely need more to fill this. I'm probably going to need two for six more bags so that's going to be a lot of money. But anyway, so I just filled this. I mixed it with a little bit at the top with potting soil so that my plants don't go into shock. So bought some new plants today actually. So I bought I bought sweet peppers. I bought red hot ghost chili peppers, mammoth jalapenos, sereno hot peppers. Um my family really likes our stuff spicy and so I just thought that was a good mix um, I did not mean to buy all of those when I just read them right now I was like oh shoot but it's okay um, yeah the Home Depot is having a really big sale right now it's like their Black Friday that's what it's called um, deals and so I just went ahead and took an advantage of that I'm gonna go ahead and plant my zucchini plants first and then I will talk to you guys later 
Okay guys, so I just went ahead and planted all the things I needed to do. I'm like so beat right now, but I will show you guys really quick. This is the mammoth jalapeno, the sereno pepper. And this one is the red hot ghost chili pepper. Um, I'm not sure if it's okay to put them all together, but I did because... Uh, yeah, I don't know. If they all come out spicy, that'll just be good for me. And then I put the sweet pepper ones in a separate one because I didn't want that one to be spicy. Um, so yeah, and then I put in my zucchini here. So they're all here. They all look good. So that's really exciting. And here I have my broccoli. I just put it out here because um, I need to make some more room on the shelves. And then once I do, it'll be going back there. But I'm really happy that I was able to do this. Um, and that this bin was the perfect size too. So that was really good. Hey guys, what's up? Today is May 8th. And I just want to give you guys a quick update. I just watered all of my plants. And there are some good and bad things that have happened to my plants but i'm just gonna go through all of my plants because i haven't given you guys an update in a really long time it feels like and so let's just get started okay so my kale plants are struggling because i think they're birds but um we do have like a bird's nest um in my backyard and i think they just ate it um or it could be a worm or something i just can't find it and then i have these oh what is this Mushrooms are growing. Yeah, the soil sucked. Um, but it was cheap. And um, yeah, so there's my other one. This one's doing fine. So... One thing I noticed about my kale is that it doesn't grow, like, width-wise. Or even at all, honestly. Because even from the last update, I can show you a clip here. It's still really small since... Then. and so I don't know I can't oh, I don't really know what to do about it but I'm not that stressed but yeah moving on I have this mystery box I'm pretty sure this is my um, green onions but I have no idea what this stuff and that is and um, yeah it's a surprise I've been so busy that I just can't like keep up with my plants and so there was one day I just like planted everything and I just didn't care anymore but anyways um my little small pot of onions are still small this one is still small this one isn't even growing honestly but this is for my grandma so I'm just keeping it this is my blueberry plant it grew a lot of leaves hey it grew a lot of leaves and it's super thorny so I cut it and then my grandma was so pissed at me she was like i almost had a heart attack like why would you cut it and i was like i thought that the fruit itself would grow on something else like like on a, another vine and she was like no like that's where it comes from and anyways like it was a whole thing and so she was really pissed and um this is still my cilantro from the same one. I eat it often with my pho. I haven't been eating pho lately. And I've been actually losing a lot of weight because I don't. I think I haven't been eating it that much. But I think they're turning into a, like, they're just like getting really small. So I think this may be coriander, maybe. I don't know. But um, yeah, like look how long it is. It's really nice, really pretty. But uh, if I don't eat it soon, I think it'll just all go to waste. I have been eating my chives here and there, but there's still a lot, as you can see. And the chives are pretty good. They're a lot more, they're a little more flavorful than green onions. So my brother uses it in like his eggs and like if he's eating steak and he needs a little bedazzle or something. On to my biggest accomplishment. Not that I did anything but water it. Oh, there are some growing here, here, and then some are sprouting there, there's some in the back, but like honestly you guys, like there's so much and I paid like five dollars maybe for this whole thing and I get this much fruit, so that's really cool, you know, and there was two that turned red, but I think my aunt came and ate it today, so I couldn't show you, but yeah, there's like so much. 100% way more happy from this batch than the one from my first one 
and yeah i think i'm just gonna start having to buy cherry tomatoes because they make a huge difference in the way that i garden too um so yeah moving along i bought the strawberries the same time i bought the tomatoes and i actually ate one and right after i brushed my teeth so it was super sour but they actually turn red really fast so they'll grow to the height that it needs to and then in like a day it'll turn red so i'm actually going to give this a little more time to ripen um there are some like flies will just eat it and then i had to add these little like this little wood piece and the stone because if the strawberry sits on the dirt and i water it it just gets really like nasty and so I've learned, so I haven't been doing that. I cut a lot of the leaves off because I felt like um, it wasn't doing much for the plants. And my avocado plant is growing beautifully. Um, yeah, no complaints. I still need to move it, but my parents keep saying no. Um, okay, this was my flower pot and it looked kind of like this right this one right here but i cut it because i was like oh like what if i cut it and something happens nothing has happened i actually think this is dead and so i'm probably gonna have to throw these two away so that sucks but i think i just did really poor maintenance so that's on me my onions though in this pot are doing really really well they're still growing and last time i showed you guys how full it was and it's still continuing to grow even after i cut it you can see at the bottom the roots so i don't know what that means i might have to open it and like see how it's doing but i'm not going to do that for another couple of months so recently i went to home depot and they were having a 3 for 10 sale and so i bought this ghost pepper sereno pepper and the mammoth jalapeno i was gonna move it into a different bin but i did not have time and then i also have the cubanelli nelly cubanelli i don't know sweet peppers and so i think actually some are sprouting here too so that's really cute this one my proudest baby so far after my tomatoes is my broccoli look how beautiful this is like the leaves just continue to grow i was really shocked at how much it grew in a really quick span of a month and so the leaves are really thick and they feel really nice um yeah not much to say because there's no actual broccoli on here i might need to have to cut this but i don't really want to it's so pretty and then my flowers i've moved here too this table was actually my dining room table but I moved it because we got a new one. I have my carrots, my watermelon. My watermelon's growing a lot slower than I wanted it to because compared to what I'm gonna show you next, it's growing really slow. So I planted all of these the same day and they're actually doing really well. There's one batch here and then this one is the other batch of carrots and then this is my watermelon. And this one right here is my, um, squash and it is doing really amazing my grandma again gave me crap because she was like you can't put all of those seeds in one box because one box or one seed will give you a lot and so they're not going to grow and that's probably true but i already planted it and they're so pretty i'm not going to change it i also i've never showed you guys this but that right there is actually my um pomegranate tree and we actually don't i think because of the rain we're gonna get a lot this year but years before we rarely had any because we never water it um but usually even if we do have honestly this is actually quite a lot now that i'm like actually looking at it that is the end to my update i'm probably not going to do another may update i'm just going to combine this one and the april one together and upload it so i hope you guys enjoyed my vlog and are excited about these updates because i sure am and i'm sure no one cares but still i just enjoy vlogging these moments because when i look back and i'm like oh dang i'm so proud of myself okay i'm talking too much so yeah i'll catch you guys in the next one and catch me on my vlogs that i post monthly about what i did that month okay bye